Merry Christmas! Today is Saturday the 23rd, so it is the day before Christmas Eve. Just cleaned my whole house. I've got this little bag of goodies that I need to wrap, like all the presents that I have to wrap in there. I've pretty much got like all like vouchers and experiences. So as far as like physical presents go, I've only got like three of them to wrap. But we're gonna start on the cooking extravaganza. Now my favorite part of Christmas is obviously the food. So um, being two days out, I'm just going to, I've got this shortbread cookie dough that um, from when I made some last in the freezer. So I'm just thawing this and I'm gonna make some Christmas cookies with like little shapes and I'm gonna make some Rocky Road and I've perfected this recipe. So I thought that I would grace you with with the recipe. I'm sharing it with you. It's my favorite and it's so freaking easy. You literally melt the chocolate, chop up the bits, mix it together and put it in the fridge and you're done. I've actually made this recipe already three times this last week because I worked in clinic like every day and we're in a different clinic each day and I just took it in because we need sugar. It was like the busiest week ever and it all got eaten and so this is going to be for like the Christmas day rocky road. I'm so excited for Christmas Day. We've got the seafood ordered, the salads ordered. I've got a big ham. Like, it's going to be a food ordeal. So I'm bringing you along to share the food ordeal. And I'm also going to attempt to make meringue for a pavlova for the first time. I've never made meringue before. I don't love pavlova. It's not my favorite. I would never really reach for it. But it's Christmas and Christmas pavlova, it's just what happens. And everyone in my family loves pavlova. I like meringue, but I just don't like cream. Like, it just gives me it's a bit icky. Anyway, so we're gonna make pavlova as well. Okay, now I've tried making Rocky Road with like cooking chocolate, with normal chocolate. No, 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 it has to be chocolate melts. Like it has to be these. They taste the best, they're sweet, the melting temperature is perfect. They've got like the perfect ratio of like milk solids, cocoa solids, th these ones. So I use the Nestle ones. The Cadbury ones are also fine. They have to be chocolate melts. It can't be normal chocolate. I can't stress this enough. So we've got two packs of these. This will do like one tray pan worth of Rocky Road. And one clinkers. So they're like chocolate with, I don't even know how you would describe it. If you don't know what a clinker is, I'm sorry, but they're delicious. Also, I had to get my Garmin replaced. The one that I only bought like two weeks ago, it like failed to pair. So they replaced it for me. <sighs> Two Turkish delights. Now these are the doubles, so you actually want like four. One, two, three, four. And coconut and marshmallows. So just any kind of coconut, desiccated, and probably like two thirds of a bag of marshmallows. So we wanna chop these in half and then just chop these like, maybe like one centimeter by one centimeter, roughly. And so we wanna chop everything before we melt our chocolate because it will start to set as soon as it melts, basically, and we take it out of the microwave. So chop all of our little ingredients. I literally love clinkers. So this is what they look like. And you guess which color they're gonna be. I think this is gonna be pink. Fuck, it's yellow. Okay. I'm gonna sharpen my knife. Me, or do you hate sharpening on? I literally hate it. It's like now it's on a chalkboard for me. I hate doing it. Oh, oh, I hate doing it. Okay, that's enough. Oh, got goosebumps. I hate that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do these in half and in half again. So I've chopped up all my ingredients, spilled it on the floor that I just swept, um, and we're gonna put in our chocolate melts for a minute in the microwave, take them out, stir them, and then put them in for another minute. We should be perfectly melted. We're gonna put the ingredients in here, stir, 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 gotta move quickly, put this into a lined tray, uh, cause it will start to set. Ah! I'm dropping things everywhere. And I'm gonna top them with these cute little Christmas sprinkles. You wanna do this while they're still, while it's still melted. Ah, 
Um, tell me this doesn't look like the best spread ever. We've got agadashi tofu, edamame, and chicken ramen. I'm just starting the second season of Dr. Death. It's on Stan, and it's a completely different storyline, like a different doctor that's like sort of also awful, but it's really good so far. It has Mandy Moore in it. Highly recommend. Ignore my washing, drying. It is officially Christmas Eve, and we are going to Hot Girl Pilates, and then we're gonna go and pick up the food for Christmas. Can't wait. So it's incredibly overcast and I had initially planned to read by the pool. So I'm currently boxing day shopping. And what I mean is like not buying anything, but like bookmarking everything that I want to buy on boxing day sales. Uh, so it's easier for me to come back to them in two days time. So instead I'm just gonna park myself right here. I'm watching my couch curtains, couch curtains, couch cushions. So I'm just gonna read on my little couch before I get sick of it. And we'll take to some baking. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is like fully storming outside. My whole balcony is wet. I've just finished making some cookies. Um, aren't they so cute? And then I also did some with little sprinkles on them. And I'm waiting for my egg whites to get to room temperature to start making the meringue for the pavlova. And I'm just gonna clean up this little mess and chill. All right, I'm about to attempt my first pavlova. Now, I've never made meringue before. This is how the cookies turned out. They're probably like a couple of minutes overdone, but they're fine. I think I'm going to try and decorate them and make them a little bit cute. But yeah, we're making pavlova meringue. So I've just got like six egg whites. I'm going to do a cup of sugar and like a tablespoon of corn flour, a teaspoon of vinegar. Whip, 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 whip. And hope for the best. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but these meringues, are perfect. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna arrange them in like a wreath, like a Christmas wreath, and decorate it like that. But I'll wait till tomorrow. All right, I'm about to start making the mac and cheese. And you might be saying mac and cheese on an Australian Christmas. That doesn't sound right. And you'd be correct. In Australia, it's pretty much all cold seafood and cold deli meats and salad in my house and everyone else I know. We don't do like a cooked Christmas dinner. Like we don't have like hot turkey or anything like that. It's always like, I've got like a big ham that I'll show you guys. And we'll do like cold chicken breast, like a roast chicken that's cold because Christmas in Australia is very hot. So we don't have like a cooked dinner. And there's usually like pasta salad, potato salad, Caesar salad, like lots of like cold salads. And I've got some Botanica salads, like fancy salads. And my mom's also going to be doing a Caesar salad and potato salad. But I said, don't do a pasta salad because I want to do a hot pasta dish. And my mom's like, that's kind of weird, but like live your life, girl. And I would die for mac and cheese. It's probably one of my favorite meals. It's my, it's my death row meal for sure. And so I'm going to make Teeny's mac and cheese recipe, but I'm going to adapt a little bit because... It's Australia and the cheese is different. So I've got Colby cheese and I'm going to use three quarters of this. Everything's in pounds. So I'm just doing the best that I can. And I've got this Mainland vintage cheddar. I'm going to use half of this. I'm going to use three quarters of this. And then this is the only mozzarella that I could find that wasn't pre-shredded. And apparently it was really important that you shred your own cheese because pre-shredded cheese, when you buy it in the store, has like a film on it and that fucks with like the melting process. So... I'm actually going to put it in like my, I've got like this electric like cutter um, because you won't catch me grating by hand three blocks of cheese. So let's do that. It worked. So I literally just chopped these up into like sort of big rectangles. And this is the best contraption I've ever been gifted. My mum got it for me last year for Christmas. And I just put it in there and blitzed it and like short, not shredded. It's sort of like crumbled, but you just need it in like really small bits so it melts in the sauce. So this is literally perfect and saved me so much time. So I'm just making a roux. I've just got butter, flour, equal parts, and salt and pepper. And I'm gonna add a can of evaporated milk. And now I'm going to add 600 mils of thickened cream. I added a bit of paprika, but it's not smoked, which is what the recipe calls for, but I will. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of Dijon. I'm also going to make some homemade garlic butter. Fresh garlic is one of my favorite things ever. So I've just drizzled this with olive oil. I'm going to put salt and pepper on it, wrap it up and roast it for an hour or so. 
for garlic butter for the seafood tomorrow. I don't know if you see how big this is, but this is so heavy. It's like two kilos of cheese. Now that my sauce is nice and thick, I'm just gonna add in my cheese. So the mac and cheese is finished. I haven't baked it. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow morning to like prep it for the lunch. And I add fresh tomatoes to mine. I know that's not normal, but I really, really love it. So if you haven't tried it, try it. Merry Christmas. It is Christmas day today. I'm just wearing this cute little dress. And I've got on like semi full glam, especially for the daytime. Got these cheap little earrings from the Lisa, which I think are so cute. And it's basically almost eight o'clock and my family do a brunch and a lunch. So RIP my stomach size. Let's do the little haul of everything that I'm picking. Rocky Road. The Christmas cookies. And now I'm gonna take some little like colored icing things to decorate these when I get there. And this is the mac and cheese. These are the Botanica salads. Here is our Christmas ham. Oh, I'm running out of bench space. And then of course the seafood. This is the best part. I'm obsessed. Oh, this is the seafood. <laughs> and these are the berries that I need to take to decorate the pavlova and I've got cherries because it's not Australian Christmas without cherries and mango I think I'm gonna do like a mango jus for the pavlova and I've got delicious fancy butter for a garlic butter for the seafood this is the roasted garlic from last night and I think <laughs> we're well, almost there so these are the meringues they turned out perfectly so happy with that it was literally like the easiest recipe ever i'll link all the recipes below as well so i need to literally pack all this up and head over to my mom's house goes through the rest of the list that's jumping straight to a new one that i work with a lady who's from saskatchewan so it's like 6 p.m i just got home took my makeup off felt so good you know when you just like your makeup's just like feeling heavy and irritating in your face so i had such a nice day we had breakfast like brunch at like nine and had mimosas and there was like eggs and bacon and sausages and all of that we did presents and then i fell asleep on the couch for like an hour and a half and then i woke up more mimosas and then started getting ready for lunch there was so much food everything was literally so delicious the salads the seafood like everything and then we had a break played some trivia and then did dessert and that was also just like 10 out of 10 and then we watched the holiday <sighs> which is one of my favorite christmas movies ever um, and I'm, I'm really trying to fight off having a nap right now because I know I'm not going to wake up until like 9.30 and then I won't be able to like sleep properly, properly tonight. But I'm just so exhausted. Like eating just takes it out of you. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and like read a little bit and try not to fall asleep. But I have honestly enough leftovers for like weeks. I did in fact fall asleep, but... I woke up not feeling bad at all. I actually feel way better. And now it's time for my favorite part of Christmas, which is Boxing Day sales. I already bought some Lululemon this morning. They started their sale early. And I am going to go into my local Westfield tomorrow and have a look and brave the crowds and go try and find some Boxing Day goodies. I'm not hungry in the slightest. Even though it's been like eight hours since I've eaten. That's how much food I ate today. Um, but I probably will have some like leftover prawns or something. But I'm going to suss out. I need some like new body moisturizer. And there's like a couple of like little um, lip products and things that I want to get from Priceline and, and um, Chemist Warehouse. So I'm just going to have a little listen to Taylor Swift and do some shopping. <music>